I do want to do that. I want to ulti and satchel on site very badly. Let's do it. All right, then I'm gonna dart back site for you, Mr. Raze, and then I'm gonna ult. Sounds good. Could have not. Not really. Yeah. So he tells you he's gonna dart back site, but then you don't prepare yourself to listen for the break. He darts back sight and this dude breaks it from left. And then you come out looking garage. Look. Yeah, he broke it from right here. Very clearly. He broke it on your left. You know their location precisely. You didn't hear where it came from. And you know why you didn't hear where it came from? Because you weren't listening for it intently. You didn't intentionally go, okay, now I'm going to wake Cubby and listen to hear if they break the dart from this side. You didn't do that. You you skipped that step, even though you're coordinating with Sofa. So I said, okay, I'll dart back side for you. Now, you do have to be careful though, because what happens if they break it from this side? I'll tell you what happens. That does not mean this area is clear, okay? It's actually pretty common for somebody to come back plat and ask their teammate to come back here to break dart for them. So if they break it from over here, that doesn't tell you anything, unfortunately, other than there's at least one here. But you gotta be careful when that happens. However, if they break it from this side, that generally tells you it's just one dude and, and you know their location. So you, you just won the whole round, except you route out without even looking at them. Did you back site? Whoa. What am I yeah. doing? Spearfin! Raise Haven Ascendant 2, Giga Chad. All right, I have a new radar i will let you guys know I've got a new radar online for raised VODs. If I see people doing shit that only I do, like I've got certain plays on Haven that I need to get out of my playbook. If I see you guys doing that in your raised playbook, as if you're clearly copying me, I'm closing your VOD and telling you to go watch good raised players. I just want you to know that. No studying Immortal 3 hard stuck raised mains, okay? Like me. Do we use the Ascendant theme chat? Just for the for fun, because we've never used it before. He does have notes, really? I missed it. Oh, bet we literally did a Haven VOD, didn't we? Got to see site with teammate utility more often with satchels. True. Yeah, and then you're like way too slow. Okay. I'm gonna dart for short. That's fine. I'll satchel cross. Okay, let's start with that. You don't need to single satchel across a main generally the only time you're gonna satchel short is if you're trying to catch timing on this dude to fight them which usually is too otherwise you just want to call this piece of shit's drone or play boom bot there's a million ways we can get across main and using our satchel is not the best way the reason why is because it basically just pushes the issue onto these guys it's not like the main fight is avoided when you satchel past it it still has to be taken so it's way better i mean if this was a jet you just call the jet smoke um but reina's fine too you just call a reina flash Okay, it's really great. Can you flash main? I'm going to cross because that also makes it easier for them to take main at the same time. But you're going too fast because I'm a Sova player and I know this dart and this darts for short. And so you're about to take a fight before you see, you see how that dart scan jet right now. So I want to look at our pre-round again because I, I'm not happy. Well, for that, you guys want to just uh, go towards A, split it. Me and Sova go through short. The rest of you guys go long. You want to just dart long on them just in case jet's speaking out. I'm going to dart for short. That's fine. I'll just dart. Long omen, just in case jet. Did you say dart long omen? Sounds good. You uh, just dart long omen, just in case jet speaking out. I think he said omen. I'm very confused. But anyways, he tells you very clearly. He says, I'm going to dart for short and you say that's fine. Okay. So now you've got to deal with reality, Spearfin. You know what reality is? You're ascendant goddamn too. And you're not going to get the radiant selfless sofa player who's going to buy drone, hop across and drone you down every game. But hey, he's going to dart for short. And so now you've already learned you played around his dart poorly. The dart for sure is good. So duelists frequently get themselves into positions where they need to know what type of utility might come their way when they're holding a site. Uh, most, most people get in this position, but duelists get in it the most because duelists play the most aggressive. And generally speaking, initiator util is used to punish over aggressive players. Like for example, if I recon hacking a main and I landed out here, this is designed to punish an aggressive player getting wide a main and i landed out here so that way his teammate can't break the dart so initiator utility frequently is designed to punish over aggressive play however i throw that dart in a radiant lobby plenty of radiant jets 
I'm sure will cross, smoke it, peek out and hold with their op. Plenty of them. Okay. Because they know about this dart. They know about that threat. They know their teammate can't break that one. And knowing about what types of utility the enemy initiator can throw is very important, which is why we saw this new dart, that one VOD, if you remember. And it was super cool because it was like an Iradian VOD. The dude did like this crazy jump thing. I don't remember how to throw it, so I'm just going to randomly do it. But it, it flew in at max speed and landed here, and it even scanned like a Radiant player or a pro if you remember that VOD review so this short dart it lands right here you don't need to know how to throw it but you need to know where it lands it lands up here so generally this short dart will not reveal them if they're standing right down here a lot of people don't know that a lot of sovas don't even know that and they don't tell that to their teammates but also you'll notice it doesn't reveal if they tuck into revealing area if they sprint down and they tuck right here if they get over here it's not going to reveal them that's fine that's one threat so if we knew this guy was going to dart earlier, I probably would have started boom bot and you, I would have boom bot at this close angle. And then if it doesn't see anything, you can lazily clear the rest because you can just come here and notice our dart does reveal her because she's not fully tucked. One long. Nice kill, but like we gave her an initial fight. One long, one long. He's here. Okay, this is too slow. So look. He's back. So we know this guy's main. So tell me what's stopping you from just running and fighting him right now. It's this guy, right? It's the threat of a CT dude. Maybe kills are coming at me. Yeah, but it's gonna be one guy. And you've got Sova with you right here and you have a nade. So why don't you just hecking run out with your nade and throw it? Sova will trade you if the kills are kills you fast. We just run across. Well, you think Killjoy's gonna kill you bunny hopping across this way? Like you want to boot up this custom and see what that looks like right now? You're going to be bunny hopping across super fast. And there's going to be a second guy behind you swinging to fight you and a nade coming at you. Nade heaven, CT can't see anyways. No, that's that's wrong. Um, there Nobody should be routing heaven right now. 3 IQ. Relevant username, I guess. The enemy team hasn't lost a site yet. So nobody should be coming up heaven because it's too slow. They wouldn't be playing the hold site if they came up heaven. Trust me, real frustration comes in higher elos. You're in a low enough elo where you can basically affect the impact of every round if you're good enough. Spearfin. So have that mentality because you can pretty much win your team every round in um, Ascendant. It's a low enough rank that the players make enough mistakes. Like you could have easily just ran and killed that Phoenix. You're just not fast enough. Now we get to higher elo, that Phoenix gets his pick, and then you run into trouble because he hecking bunny hops over here to hecking play with this dude and it gets tricky you need to rely on your teammates a little bit but not yet well, can you like quickly smoke and just go fast i'm darting for close that's good oh, that'd be <laughs> all right all right let's talk the satchels so you pre threw you, you threw your satchel midair off a single height box which is generally not recommended because your pullout time for the next satchel is very you get restricted it can work but it is very awkward because there's like a minimum amount of time between satchels so generally on single height boxes you'll throw it the first one first and notice i can throw my second satchel a lot faster it's because the time to fall off a of one box just isn't long enough off two boxes, throwing it like this can be fine. Yeah, my satchels, they were ugly, but throwing it as you fall off two boxes can be all right. Off one box, I've mostly seen people like pre throw it. Got uh, my hecking satchels are bad right now, but you get what I'm talking about. I can after the smoke fades, I'm going to boom bot and then nade back plat and then go out. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to shock dart back site. Okay. <laughs> okay 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 the, the, the you're watching too much okay who's in you know why because I, i'm insisted on entering this way because i'm not good at raise after naming back plat here you, you can just route up as your team's going up like this especially because you're single satcheling coming from over here is like a double satchel nuance because it lets you get like much further but from what i've seen 
And this is why you can't study my gameplay chat. Because I know what's correct here, but I don't do it yet because I'm not, I'm learning, okay? When you're single satcheling out, most of the time, this nade, you'll like come out forwards and just satchel like randomly to clear this way and route this way. Yes, that's right one. We didn't call the omen flash and our timing was like terrible here. Yeah. Let me just clear it. Ages here. Right is yeah. clear. Nah, you're wait you're wasting so much util. Looking like Hooge again. Reminding me of my own goddamn Vaz. Jet drop down this way off the box. I mean, it's possible somebody crossed. But like, we could have just used one boom bot to cover all of this. So I would have just came over this way. You can even put some bullets in this angle. I wouldn't use boom bot to purely clear that. And you can come out this way. And that boom bot will clear. Like this nonsense. And then it comes up and it can clear this stuff. If you throw it better than I just threw it. If you're really worried about right side. I don't like using two abilities to clear short. I also don't like that we're pushing short right now without our team. He's gonna rotate out. Nice kill. Let's rotate, rotate, rotate. Let's receive by God bomb. Oh. One short. I'm gonna help you. Wait for me. With a jet phoenix on A. That's right. So what? Why is our spike by themselves though? I was with Reyna, but I'm stuck. I got flashed. That sucks. Oh, she switches it up. Ooh. That's it. Go. Let's pull out. Actually, pull out. No, no, no. Let's go. Go away. Yeah, yeah. Really, I like popping C here. I'm gonna look at the mini map. So you just got to pick garage, and generally it's like one, 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 two on this map. And so this garage player being dead creates this hole in the chain, and you've got rocket. And so I think you could have forced the issue on the C player. I'll check though. This is round five after you kill Phoenix. Yeah. Yeah. You see? See how this dude can't do anything? Now A is gonna become open, but um there's also a world where one of these dudes is warming up to an angle like this. And angles like these are really dangerous. They're really dangerous. That's their eco. They may be fast rotating. Yeah, but you're right here and they're right there. It doesn't matter if they're fast rotating. They can't beat you to C site right now. This Phoenix died too early. You're just way closer to C. It doesn't matter how fast they rotate. They won't beat you there. They'll get to C by the time this is smoked off and they're going to have to play retake. Watching your mid. Is that KJ? It's Killjoy. First set up on C though, but I Yeah, I don't like the ult. Uh, let's think about it. So they've got two dudes alive. They're probably playing together. So the odds that they're both holding a site together right now, pretty low. You felt peer pressure into it. Let me look. Maybe even Satchel ult into their space, possibly. <laughs> I hate in ascending comms. This is maybe Satchel ult into clear space, possibly. None of you guys have any confidence. Oh my God. Yeah, sure. You followed the call. <laughs> Still down for it though? Nah, I'm not down at all. This thing is a free kill. I think as long as you're clearing space carefully, they shouldn't be able to pick you off before you can pop the ult. The only threat I'd say where that can happen is if you and Reyna aren't together. But like right now, let's imagine they peek out or something. They're not gonna throw you till right now because they don't know you're here. So like they peek out into two of you, you're chilling. So after they like unswing in that scenario, like let's say they jump spotted or something. Well, now you can just pop ult because you know they're close, it's lit. Uh, there's not many scenarios where you would just die for free with your ult up, I guess. This is awkward. He flashes like... <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, what a sh flash, but... That. Hey, just sit up here. Jet's here as well. Jet's hit once. <laughs> oh, I missed. Yeah, okay. What the f is going on here? So, someone's ulting this dude. They know we're short. We've made presence. You're nading main so you can fight the graffiti guy. Makes sense. But, like, let's look at how you Jet fight the graffiti well. guy. Jet you swing her like it's 
deathmatch. So you've got a Sova ulting her right here. Do you, you, do you see how we're so slow? Like, listen again. Hey, just up here. Jet's here as well. Tag, I am the hunter. Right now in my head, I want to peek even faster. Because listen, listen, listen. You hear that? That was Jet dashing and updrafting to dodge Sova ult. That's exactly where we need to be blasting her ass. And you are way, way, way too worried about this guy. Because look, as you peek out this way, look what happens to main. Look, zoop, it gets unpeaked. It gets unpeaked. The only way main is a threat is if this guy comes out this way, routes close and peeks you here. It's not happening. You're, you're consistently worried about threats that aren't going to really bite you. Now we end up peeking while this guy's chill. They're chill now. And so I don't like peeking this way while they're chill. I want you doing this something like you've probably seen pro gameplay i'm talking like real pro matches not pro solo queue the way they take their gunfights in pro matches is way more careful than they take them in solo queue because in solo queue they don't give a in solo queue you don't even need to expose yourself to this jet but you you can take these tiny slices and just blast bullets into this wall until she basically feels pressured you know, like peeking out because of the sofa ult or something. You, you could have a much bigger advantage in this duel. Uh, you, you instead just wide swing. I say it's like the easiest for her to deal with. Why, now, why are you using two? Well, why are you using two for whatever the hell that I'm was? I'm watching smoke. This little guy. Just that smoke, so. I have it. Flank, flank, flank. Oh, no, that's chamber. Never mind. Yeah, flank, oh, no, flank. Yeah, he is flank. One CT, CT and flank. Pick up me. I'm blind. I'm blind. Open. Okay, finally you can blind it here. Nice guys. Yeah. So a post plant. I don't like what we're playing. I think people who watch the streams more often would know. Uh, I I think this is like the spot to be in post plant right here. Now, yeah, you'll get flashed there. here a lot of the time by like an omen or whatnot. You're rarely gonna be like the first target, so it's fine. You got flash graffiti anyways. But what happens is like whatever fight occurs, like let's look at what fight happened here, okay? You got me, I'm blind, I'm blind, I open. find this default angle can just generally engage. It can generally join the fights. So this guy's fighting pretty deep. So you probably struggle to join this fight unless you ride it over this way. But pretty much like anybody hell comes out, takes a line. Anybody here takes a fight. Even here, heaven takes a fight. It's very consistent to play right here and you can just peek off of people without having to even like coordinate with them. I don't like the round. Like our chamber is going out first. We don't even say anything. We boom bot, God knows what. Like what, what is this clear? Close, right? Maybe, I don't know. You didn't comment. Our chamber's about to dry peek it. Our omen's short with Sova. We've got no plan for Roman flash. As far as I'm aware, no plan for Sova recon. No plan for Reina Flash. I, I think everyone's playing their own game right now. You know, so this is really messy. And the problem with a hit like this is it's not going to work in against better players. It worked here, but only because we're playing it in Heckin Ascendant. And it, for whatever reason, it's like solo Killjoy holding A from back sight doing God knows what. Like this Killjoy just plays the Hecking finesse setup and your lack of short presence gets you cooked. I'm going to call this one a strike. We didn't come anything. I don't need the hit to be good, but I need us to try to make it good. And I feel like chamber going first. We didn't come the boom bot. We didn't ask for omen flash. We didn't ask for sofa thing. And we our pacing's all off. One's right side B. It's Jet. Jet tag. Just the backside. I hate players like this chamber. You know why? Our chamber's making great call-outs and everything. His mic sounds like this. I can probably get timing on A. I think he's clear, guys. And then he gets mad when his team doesn't hear him in the mid-round. Like, I'd never hear this guy. Yeah, so you're just getting too ambitious here. Valorant is like push and shove. You've pushed. And you know what now? They, they've calmed. It's B or whatever. Like, yo, they're, they're pushing B or whatever. You, you don't have to actually come out and fight for B. Because we're not pushing B. Look at, our, look at our formation. Pushing B is really hard. Especially with two dudes. But you don't need to push B. You've threatened that you might push B. And that's more than good enough let's look around nine yeah by the time you die they, they've got three b that's how worried they are about this shit. i do want to do that i want to ulti and satchel on site very badly let's do it all right then i'm gonna dart back site for you mr rays and then i'm gonna ult Sounds good. Could have not. Not really. yeah 
Yeah. So he tells you he's going to dart back sight, but then you don't prepare yourself to listen for the break. He darts back sight and this dude breaks it from left. And then you come out looking garage. Look. Yeah, he broke it from right here. Very clearly. He broke it on your left. Do you know their location precisely? You didn't hear where it came from. And you know why you didn't hear where it came from? Because you weren't listening for it intently. You didn't intentionally go, okay, now I'm going to wait Cubby and listen to hear if they break the dart from this side. You didn't do that. You you skipped that step, even though you're coordinating with Sofa. So I said, okay, I'll dart back side for you. Now, you do have to be careful though. Because what happens if they break it from this side? I'll tell you what happens. That does not mean this area is clear. Okay. It's actually pretty common for somebody to come back plat and ask their teammate to come back here to break dart for them. So if they break it from over here, that doesn't tell you anything, unfortunately, other than there's at least one here. But you got to be careful when that happens. However, if they break it from this side, that generally tells you it's just one dude and, and you know their location. So you, you just won the whole round, except you route out without even looking at them. Did you back sight? Whoa. What am I yeah. doing? Why did he just peek me like that? There's no way. Uh, Jets in garage, guys. <laughs> Why did he just peek me like that? Did you back sight? Yeah, he sure Whoa. is peeking you right now. He sure is swinging out right now to fight you. I'm curious, where could he possibly be to not fight you? <laughs> You're not playing around your teammates util to take the site. You're just not. You didn't call for it at all. And then when they told you they'd recon back site, you didn't change your plan at all. I feel like you would have satcheled out the same exact way if there was no recon back site. You feel? Your attack's not there. Because we're not playing around our teammates util. He recon back site, we got the info, and then we just didn't half the info what are we doing none of these hits looked good i i don't think i could name a single round where your hit looked clean you feel now you didn't get strikes on a lot of them because it wasn't your bad or you die before like it was time to hit but none of these are clean there's no round where we like follow a drone up a short and we pop out a main and short at the same time with our teammates it doesn't happen once there's no round where we hacking properly flood out with this flash recon and like a nade this round's like the closest but goes so wrong I'm blind. Da, da, da. Yeah, like, look, do you see how broken it is when you you didn't call this is the problem. Planning. You see how you just like imagine if you just asked moment of flash back sight. Like, look how broken this is. Free kill. But instead, we didn't ask. And it's a, we're, we're like likely dead here, except our omen happens to be the goddamn goat. And they throw like a really good flash. Defense was worse. Wasn't paying attention to all of this. <laughs> what are you doing on attack then? You just waiting for defense? <laughs> you queue up attack. You're like, oh, attack first. But let's just autopilot. Run it back. Run it back. Do, do, do. Run it back, Spearfin. That's why your rank hasn't changed. Come on to you, Spearfin. Hey, Wuhujin here. Did you know that I stream every weekday doing VOD reviews and playing ranked? If you enjoy the videos, the best way to support me is to show up live. If this video was just uploaded, it's very likely that I'm streaming right now. All of my coaching is free, but that means I need to make money in other ways. Please consider supporting me with a Discord subscription if you can afford to do so. I run many live events for my tier three subscribers as a thank you for letting me pursue my passion every day. At 2000 subscribers, I'll be booking a flight out to EU and to APAC to play in-houses on your servers. Thank you for supporting me.